After waiting two very long years for Trails of Cold Steel 3 to make its way to the Western world, it unfortunately has released with some controversy surrounding it. When the game launched in Japan in 2017, it of course, like many games, had quite a few DLC outfits that you could purchase, and when it came to the West, you should have been able to purchase them all. And they all, of course, are there for you to purchase except for one, and this is the case of the missing bikini. So I do want to note that it is still available for purchase in the Japanese and Chinese regions of the PlayStation Store, but not in ours in the United States. I do have a theory as to why it might not be censorship, but I will let you all judge for yourselves. Now, as you can imagine, and as you can see on screen, this bikini is a bikini. It is just a two-piece bathing suit that doesn't cover up much of the character, and it is a costume that a lot of people would purchase. When it comes to very revealing outfits in games, there is always a group of people that want them, especially in a game like this one. I mean, if you look at most MMOs, the outfits that reveal the most are usually the priciest on auction houses. But why this DLC outfit is missing, we really don't know. There are other very revealing outfits that exist when it comes to DLC. This was, of course, the most revealing, but there are others that do rival this one, and like I said, we have no clue why it was not included and it was just one outfit missing. Now, this could be a case of censorship, of course, we all know how Sony has been over the past few years, and unfortunately, this could have been an easy target for them, and the developers could have been told to remove it, and that would be really disappointing, but not very surprising. I, like many other people, have gotten to the point where nothing Sony does surprises me. Any game could be touched, and it wouldn't surprise me. Now, NIS America is actually giving a very generic answer to anyone that asks why it is missing by saying, thank you for reaching out. We are currently aware of the DLC discrepancy between the J Japanese and the Western versions available DLC, and we will be sure to update fans when we have any future news regarding this DLC. There is a chance that this was a mistake, that possibly it was meant to be added into the game, yet it didn't make its way into our version by some sort of miscommunication, but a similar situation happened with Cold Steel 2, where some of the DLC outfits were actually missing. They said it was due to a licensing issue and that they would make their way into the game eventually, and it never happened. They ignored everyone's questions, and to this day, that content still does not exist in the United States versions of the game. Now, we do have to note that that was Xseed, and with 3 it is Falcom, but still. Why are they continuously li having licensing issues with costumes if it was due to licensing issues? It just seems suspicious since it's already happened once, why would they allow it to happen again, and it was with a different company? I worry that these companies are saying licensing issues because they would never admit to censorship issues. A lot of companies do not want to say the big word censorship, especially if they do have deals with companies like Sony, and they want to continue to be in a good standing with them, so I understand why they wouldn't use that word specifically, but it just seems suspicious, like I said, that there are continuous licensing issues if it ends up that they say this was a licensing issue. But that is all that I really had to talk about today. Unfortunately, it is just a lot of speculation at this point. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you think this is a case of censorship, or do you think this was just a simple miscommunication between companies? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like, and of course, if you did not, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.